A unilateral contract forms when one party makes a promise in exchange for an act, and the other party performs that act. But what if the other party would have performed the act regardless of the promise? Klockner v. Green ponders this question. Richard Klockner and his widowed stepmother, Edith Klockner, shared a close relationship. He took care of her as a biological son would. Richard's daughter, Frances, also spent a lot of time with Edith, often staying overnight and going with her on trips. One day, Edith told Richard that if he would keep taking care of her and keep allowing Frances to visit her, she would bequeath all her property to them. Edith also told her attorney, Harry Green, about the arrangement and asked him to draw up a will accordingly. Green drafted the will and mailed it to Edith, but she didn't sign it because she believed that doing so might quicken her death. Richard and Frances continued caring for Edith as they always had, until she died. Because Edith never signed the will, her property would have gone to her nearest blood relatives through intestate succession. But Richard sued Green as the executor of Edith's estate, seeking specific performance of the oral contract that Edith had made with him. At trial, Richard and Francis testified on cross-examination that they would have continued caring for and spending time with Edith even if she hadn't promised to bequeath her property to them. Green moved for dismissal, arguing that no contract was formed. The trial court agreed and dismissed the case. The appellate division affirmed, holding that the statute of frauds barred enforcement because Richard and Francis didn't rely on Edith's promise. Richard appealed to the New Jersey Supreme Court.